welcome to another edition of Toy Nuts, my friends. We'll start today off with some thrifty shop finds. I got to go a couple times this week. And, uh, now I haven't got in to clean any of this stuff off yet, so don't freak out. I believe this is from Toy Story 3, not sure. I just thought it was cool because it looks like a Star Wars jet, or Star Wars X-Wing fighter. Thought that was pretty cool. I found another one of the Simpsons Holiday. Well, he kind of works. The Radioactive Man, I didn't have it. I found another one of the uh, Glowworm Finger Puppets. I think that makes two of them I got now. That's pretty cool. I found a PVC Ernie. Oh no, Bert. I found one of these street attack vehicles. I think these were from Burger King or McDonald's. No. It says Hot Wheels and Mattel Incorporated. Hmm. Well, that's the first one of those I've ever found in the wild. If anybody need that, let me know. I'll throw it in your box. I found a Tasmanian Devil Car for my Warner Brothers collection. I'm pretty sure that this was from McDonald's. I can't remember. But I love the Tasmanian Devil. I found Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Triceraton minifigure. That's the second one of those I've got. I've got one here in my collection. I found a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Raph who really needs cleaned up. Looks like he came out of one of those uh, soap egg or one of those fizzy eggs. Thought that was pretty cool. Found this Imaginex Dragon Fighter guy. Thought that was pretty tough. And I can't remember, I think this guy was from The Simpsons. Done as the Invisible Man, thought that was pretty cool. And I found another Pez, and I don't know why I keep picking them up. This one's just goofy. That's why I, I usually pick up the oddball goofy ones. And get these guys put back in the bag. I have so much to go through and get cleaned up. And I also found a Looney Tunes. Well, we're going to open it up because it's going in the collection anyhow. It's a Pepe Le Pew. And it's a pen. And I think the heart used to light up when you wrote with it. I'll figure something. Oh, you come with a stand. That's cool. That's pretty neat. Comes with a little stand. I'll put that in the collection. I also found yesterday. Yesterday wasn't a big fine day. But I found two more of the uh, Muppets chess pieces. I think this makes me having both old men now. And I found another Rizzo on the pizza box. Thought that was pretty cool. I found a stitch that I think was supposed to be in a little spaceship. He broke off, but I thought, hey, it's Stitch. I like Stitch. I'll put him in the collection. And don't tell my daughter this, but I found her Spike, the minifigure dragon from My Little Pony. I'll put that in her Christmas box. I'm going to try to tape that this year. Every year, I try to make up a little box, like a surprise box for my kids. My son likes Pokemon and minifigures. My daughter likes uh, My Little Pony and Hello Kitty. I try to make them up a little surprise box of stuff so they get opened up and they're like, oh, wow, you know. So I'm going to try to tape that this year. 
Now, last thing I've got, and I'm going to open these up, and I know it's going to make people sick, but the uh, cards have gone to shit. Oh, excuse my language. But they'll go good in my video game collection. I have Earthworm Jim and the Hench Rat. I really like the uh, artwork. It's really a lot like the uh, artwork from the game. Then on the back, you get a little bio card for Earthworm Jim. Tells you the other fig or the other figures in the lineup. You've got Earthworm Jim with snot. That's the one that I have. You have Earthworm Jim special deep sea mission suit with special mission snot, which is done in purple. You have the monstrous Peter puppy. Battle damaged Earthworm Jim, Psycro, and Hentrat. And I have Hentrat here. So I'm, I'm going to look out for the rest of these figures. These were made by Replay Incorporated. So let's free this bad boy and see what it's all about. Okay. Here's the little snot figure that comes with him. Oh, that's pretty cool. What is this stuff? Oh. Okay. Oh, see. weapons okay he comes with this big rifle and a little laser gun and pull up his arm he's got this little piece that shoots off and now that's probably lost for our okay, I see it not really well articulated but I think they look really good next to the the game just articulated it well let's take his guns out he has movement at the wrist shoulder no elbow joint same on the other side just leg movement at the hip there is no waist articulation but as far as looking like the figures in the video game I think that's that's pretty straight on I mean that's Earthworm Jim now let's check out Hentrat This is funny. Hentrack comes with Evil the Cat. I forgot about this. I think it's funny because the cat's little and Hentrack's huge. So let's take a look at Hentrack. He's got a little more articulation than Jim. He has a neck that swivels and then the head swivels on the neck. He has wrist articulation like Jim, and then at the shoulders again, and then just at the waist again where the legs meet the waist. There is no waist articulation itself. His armor does come off, so I bet that's a piece that's usually missing. Ooh. And I am digging the weapons on these. Well, it, it actually fires. He's got this really nice, cool gun. Big gun. 
he has a little gun and then his knife I wonder if he's got a place to put the knife oh the little gun goes in his shoulder big gun goes in his hand that's pretty cool there's a lot of detail to this the hint wrap but he's just not painted up that well these will be a nice addition to my collection I'm real happy with these I got them from a guy off of Facebook months ago just been holding off doing a review of them but uh I, th I think they're pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty spot on for the video game. If you ever come across these, I mean, I'd pick them up. So, anyhow, that does it for another week of Toy Nuts. Don't forget to check out my fellow YouTubers. Dr. Twisted's Realm. Polly Polly Poo Poo. Odd Pod. Uh... Back in the day toys. Dismania 65. I hope to see you back on here soon. Uh, Pharrell the Pharaoh Alligator. Hope he gets back on here soon. He's looking for a new place to live. And as always, man, check out my boy Ivan Ruiz out in Cali. Top notch trader, man. If he's got something you want and you're willing to trade with him, right on, man, because the dude's top notch. So, anyhow, until next time. You never know what you're going to find or where you're going to find it. Happy collecting.